Governor's Island kicked off its 2019 season with even more reasons to visit than ever before. Now today we're headed over to the island to show you why it's one of the city's best warm weather destinations. <laughs> You can only get to Governor's Island by taking the ferry from downtown Manhattan. And something new this year, they added a brand new boat to the fleet that takes 400 people over at a time, three times an hour on the weekends. Governor's Island is an important part of New York's history, but you're going to have to look that one up because I have limited time today and we're here to see what's new. Governor's Island is 172 acres, so you can expect to see lots of greenery. We are on the southwest side of the island right now in the park section, and this is actually called the Hills. Now, fun fact for you, this is the closest place on land that you can see the Statue of Liberty's face, with the exception, of course, of Liberty Island. We are up here on Outlook Hill, which is 70 feet above sea level. And from here, you can see every inch of Governor's Island and pretty much every single bridge in the harbor. Then you can make your way on over to Slide Hill, which is home of New York City's longest slide. It's three stories high and 57 feet long. Here we go. Since it opened to the public in 2005, Governor's Island has put a real emphasis on art and culture. They offer free exhibitions and programs to visitors all season long. This year's Public Art Commission is artist Chantal Martin. She's known for her black and white drawings, and this piece is called Church, and she actually revitalized this building. It hadn't been in use in 20 years. There are endless activities here, and one of the most popular things to do on the island is to rent a bike or a surrey from Blazing Saddles and check out the scenery. Where's Joelle when you need her? I'm gonna do this all by myself. It is quite easy to work up an appetite here, and they have many different food options to satisfy one too, like Island Oyster. This is the third summer you've had Island Oyster here. How special is it? It's unreal. We're so excited. We have all sorts of new things on the menu this year, and we're open late on Friday and Saturday. We have this great accessibility to lots of New Yorkers who haven't seen us before. Right, that's something new for this summer is the expanded hours. So on the weekends, Friday and Saturday, you're open until 10 p.m.? That's right. You could party at Governor's Island all night long and eating delicious food. What did you bring out today? So we have a variety of things. We're all about sustainability and using local oysters. The lobster roll is amazing. That's from Maine. We have it with seaweed and lemon and tarragon and fennel. I'm especially proud of what we use in the fish taco. It's a dogfish, also known as a Cape shark. And it's a species that people don't give a lot of attention to because it's not that sexy and hasn't really been used as a food source, but it's incredibly underutilized and absolutely delicious. Carrie, happy summer. I can't wait to come back and see you again soon. Can't wait to have you. Thank you.